I'm going to be responding to. This person on Captain Marvel vs. Billy but right off the bat. I want to point out I have no issues or beef with this person. It's not meant to be hating, but let's start with the response video. Here we go again. Screw Attack decided to make and release a Captain Marvel vs. Shazam episode right before their movies came out. I foolishly thought that since Shazam was a more powerful character than Android 18 they would not find a need to nerf Carol for a second time, but I was so very wrong. I thought they would not cave to online trolls and rig the analysis against Carol, but again I was wrong. Shazam had a decent analysis. I'm not going to say that Billy's analysis was perfect. Because it wasn't. I do not know why they said Shazam had a weakness to other uses lightning when it was never shown to be the case and is just some argument off of headcanon. But Captain Marvel's analysis is complete trash as I am about to prove. Before she would take up her superhero mantle, Carol was an army brat raised by Joe and Marie Danvers. Inspired by her U.S. Navy dad, Carol joined the Air Force at 18 with the hopes of one day becoming an astronaut. Captain Marvel's full name is Carol Susan Jane Danvers. As binary, she is extraordinarily powerful on a cosmic scale. Directly connected to the power of a white hole, binary can control all forms of energy, fly through space, move at the speed of light, and even control gravity. All my goodness, quote unquote, at light speed, is just false. Carol is much faster than this. Later on their undercooked analysis, they admit she is faster than light at base form. Plus, the example they used was the second issue from her first series at the start of her super heroics, meaning she was a lot faster when they used her. Heck, by the end of Carol's first run, she was one of the fastest characters in Marvel. Captain Marvel's binary form can match Hyperion's speed who can react in nanoseconds, fly from Shi'ar space to Earth's sun, travel from Earth's orbit to her white hole, and fly from Earth to the center of the Milky Way galaxy within days. Carol traveling from Earth to the Milky Way, by definition would only get her too much faster than Light Plus, which isn't all fast in the tiering system. Shazam can travel back in time and move in a realm beyond space, and time which qualify for immeasurable speed. She can also feel everything around her, and generate intense levels of heat. While she has lost her binary powers before, she still maintains an instilled connection to white holes nearby and can summon the form when necessary. Similar to another long dormant power of hers, her hyper-awareness. Her deja vu power! She can automatically predict her opponent's moves, sort of like Spider-Man's really OP spider sense. She can still sense energy in base form, like electricity. She's tough enough to survive a nuclear blast, a shot from a disintegrator beam which can destroy the android vision in one shot, and even a direct hit from a tachyon laser! She endured Kavorite crystals that can destroy planets, move stars, and Uh, hello buddy Shazam was doing this shit since the 90s. And even reshape the universe. Tachyons are a theoretical class of particles that travel faster than the speed of light and are capable of slicing through nearly anything. Like an entire Kree starship? Yeah, I wouldn't want to be on the end of one of those. Not only was Marvel able to take a hit from one of these, she could dodge subsequent shots as well. Carol reacted at Marvel's speed of thought against the Elementals and later Vance Astro. The leader was able to use the speed of thought to transport the Hulk to the edge of the known universe from Earth. But let's take it up a notch. As binary, she survived attacks from both the Phoenix Force and the Aleph's, both of which are known for blowing up entire planets. First, base form Captain Marvel endured attacks from one-fifth Phoenix Force magic and binary form Carol completely tanked full form Phoenix Force with no visible damage afterward. In fact, the Phoenix Force manipulated Binary's emotions in order to defeat her. And second, 
The Phoenix Force, outside the White Hot Room, has been shown multiple times to be capable of destroying the universe and affecting the multiverse. Heck, the Phoenix's power is the counterpart to the Scarlet Witch's chaos magic which can threaten Marvel's multiverse. Hell, she can wipe out planets on her own if she really wants to! Cause... she totally already has! She was capable of destroying planets the first time she went binary. She, also, exerted the functional equivalent slash energetic might of a star which means she outputted energy equal to how much the sun produces in one second to how much energy the sun produces in a lifetime. Binary Carol can go supernova, and was the one that created the white hole she was originally connected to. So, she's super powerful, but she does reach some limits if she overuses her powers. You know, after blowing up a couple planets or whatever. The video zoomed in on Wendell Von Quasar, not Carol Danvers binary. It's almost like they don't care enough to pay attention to accuracy. That planet absorbing magical energy can be a dangerous gamble, though it doesn't stop her from taking on mystic monstrosities whenever she needs to. Let's start with the fact that they themselves admitted that Carol's somewhat difficulty with absorbing magic is a non-factor considering her body can adapt to the magical energy shortly afterwards. The example they used against Warren Traveler's magic showcased Captain Marvel's ability to adapt and integrate magic via energy absorption, her signature move. Carol not only, successfully, absorbed and redirected Warren Traveler's magic the second time around, but also absorbed Cool and Gap's magical electricity and Sin's studies as Guardian Hammer magical energy blast. And with the speed of Mercury, he can fly as well as move faster than light. He's fast enough to transform and dodge a bullet all in one move, and even outran the Flash racing around the world at speeds even Superman doubted he could match. That's right, Shazam is faster than freaking Superman! Superman can perceive time and react down to the femtosecond. For Flash and Shazam to exceed this in one run around the Earth, they must be moving more than 133 trillion times faster than light. In her first solo series, she reacted at Marvel's speed of thought fighting against the elementals and later evaded and deflected Vance Astro's psych bolts which moves at the speed of thought as well. According to the leader, the speed of thought can transport the Hulk to the Watcher's home planet at the furthest edge of the known universe and Hulk did not feel the passage of time during the travel. Hulk has, at minimum, lightning speed reflexes meaning he can receive and interpret information at 200,000 miles per hour or down to 11.2 microseconds. This would imply it took less than 11.2 microseconds to transport the Hulk halfway across the universe, 46.5 billion light years, using the speed of thought without him noticing the travel. Yeah, that's cool and all, but how about the time he punched so hard he started a black hole out of nowhere? And Binary created a white hole, twice. This is not a forgotten ability considering the Marvel Heroes game gives Carol the ability to create a miniature star called Second Sun. In Marvel Future Revolution character trailer, Captain Marvel used an attack which looks very much like a micro black hole. This battle certainly pushed both Marvel and Shazam to their limits. Liar. Liar liar liar. This entire episode has been set up slash rigged to make it look like Carol literally had zero chance of even competing against Billy which is 100% false. But while Carol's experiences with the Phoenix Force and Aleph's proved she could hold up to Shazam's strength of Atlas. No, no, no. Carol's experience with the Incredible Hulk and Gladiator could counter the strength of Hercules. And her ability to connect to singularities plus her fight against Zenith proves she can match the stamina of Atlas. She unfortunately fell a bit short in most other categories. Even her energy absorption powers could only take so much magic before reaching a limit. You guys outright state in your black boxes that she has vastly improved her magic absorption ability. For crying out loud, in the fight itself you guys presented Carol exploiting Billy's greatest weakness, having his lightning thrown back at him depowering him. If Captain Marvel can redirect Sin Scaddy's magic back at her, she can do the same to Shazam no problem. But hey, Carol got one over him with her hyper-awareness super senses, right? 
She has energy sensory in base form and cosmic awareness in binary. Not really. While binary could move past light speed, we've already established that Shazam can move much faster. Over 133 quadrillion times more, in fact. More than 133 trillion times faster than light. Oh my goodness, they used a speed feat Carol gained in the second issue of her first solo run for her max speed. If that doesn't scream biased, I don't know what does. They can't even keep their Shazam speed number consistent. Even so, Captain Marvel is way, way faster than this. By my calculations, her speed of thought feet makes her over 130.9 sextillion times faster than light. That's 21 zeros. And let's be fair, they decided to power scale Shazam's speed to Superman. So let's power scale Carol's speed as well. She is comparable to characters like the Sentry and Ares. The Sentry can overtake Ares who can move and fight within Planck time. This makes Captain Marvel's power scaled speed over 33 decillion times faster than light. That's 33 zeros. And <laughs> let's be honest, having wise old Solomon telling you any information you need at any point is pretty overpowered. Carol's energy sensory ability, cosmic awareness, mid-range energy absorption, and kinetic energy absorption could counter any information they claim the wisdom of Solomon would grant Billy. Are you freaking serious? Captain Marvel in her base form was able to withstand the power of a Kavorite crystal capable of reshaping the universe channeled the energies from a white hole creating life in a different universe, which sounds like a big bang to me, endured hits from Phoenix host magic which can destroy the universe, and in binary, tank the Phoenix force itself which can affect the multiverse. Carol was certainly no pushover, but Shazam had the speed, strength, and versatility to take this battle in the long run. What else could I say but, wrong? I feel I already proven that Screw Attack ignored 95% of Carol's best feats that represents her power, speed, durability, techniques, skills, abilities, experience, and versatility.